Hello, welcome back to another video episode. Uh, today's topic is uh, blood in stool or blood in motion. Should we panic? Uh, most of the people, at least once in our lifetime, would have seen blood in the motion. But most of the people, you know, when they look at the blood, they panic. And generally, they get, you know, the fear. In, in fact, uh, uh, inventing, uh, you know, uh, death fear, they will have that. First, we always say, is don't panic. Uh, what is the actual reaction when we see the blood? Most of the people, you know, uh, they get generally they get fear. Then they, you know, they start thinking too much about it. They're, they're, as if they are having a uh, big medical issue, as if they are going to die. You know, they won't even tell the families. In fact, they will react in a very, you know, very seriously. Uh, they won't even tell their friends. They feel shy, you know, because we most of the time we tease others, you know. So these are the usual reactions. And there is one more category of people. They do. They they just take it as you know, just like that. Uh, they always think any bleeding from the bottom is piles. So they always think, okay, it's a piles. But generally, our first advice, my advice is, first never panic. Then always go and see either a physician or a surgeon and get yourself the exam. However trivial or small the amount of bleeding, if any natural orifice bleeding. We have nine natural orifices in the body. Any bleeding from the natural orifices should be examined by a doctor, a surgeon, and they should say nothing to worry. Out of 100 people, 90 percent of the time, 90 people will, will have a very normal. Uh, this is a very normal phenomena. The rest of the people may have some problems. Coming to the bottom, I mean, a uh, 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 bleeding, uh, 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 blood in the motion, or the generally medically we call this bleeding PR. So before going to the doctor, you should be prepared to tell what are the things. First is always whether the blood is uh, comes as a drops, dripping, like either before the motion or after the motion or uh, it's completely mixed with motion or streaks of blood. We call that hematogesia. There will be a streaks, lines of motion or the blood uh, it's completely black uh, black tarry stool that are called melina black color stool so these are the things you have to know plus you should also know whether it's accompanied by pain or not then uh, whether it's uh, uh, you know uh, uh, happens every day or not so these are the simple uh, information you should gather before you're going to see the doctor most of the people ignore or any small even uh, two drops of bleeding or they will ignore that you should not do the reasons being we don't know what is the exact reasons so generally if it's a fresh blood you know fresh red blood means it is from the lower rectum or from the sigmoid region to the anal region if it is little darker it could be from the anywhere in the colon if it is a little more darker, it could be from the small intestine, or if it is tarry black, it is from the upper part of the stomach, even from the ulcer. When there is a bleeding, it happens in the stomach, it mixes with the acid and, and forms into acid hematic. There is the iron, and uh, your acid becomes acid hematic, and when it goes, travels down the intestines, it becomes the color, comes a very black color uh, stool. So it could be even from the blood can I mean stomach cancer. So where exactly we can the surgeons or the doctors will come to a conclusion approximately where exactly for the site of bleeding. Then they will ask you questions plus they will do an examination, physical examination, rectal examination, that's called digital examination, uh, to look for anything in the anal region. Then they will do a, a, a proctoscopy, a proctoscope to visualize the anus and the rectum and even they may even ask for a colonoscopy and other investigations like CT scan others it depends upon the patient and the, the history and they their come to but generally uh, if there is a fresh bleeding comes as a drops it's a dripping means most of the painless bleeding means most of the time it will be piles I'm saying most of the time it could be piles it will be dripping if it's painful again it could be 
uh, piles that is a uh, thrombospile kind of thing or it could be some other internal malignancy also and if it comes as a streaks with painful it's a usually fissuring now like will be streaks of this thing and if it completely mixed with motion looks like uh, fresh blood it could be inflammatory bowel disease like Crohn's disease or sadicolitis or even sometimes malignancy or even TB and if it is dark uh, uh, and we call that you know um, uh, black lust stool it could be from the upper part of the stomach it could be ulcer or even it could be sometimes malignancy cancer so however the trivial or however the small amount of uh, bleeding when you pass in the motion or correctly you should be you should don't panic and don't just like that leave it thinking that it could be a simple piles and if you leave it just like that you'll be losing blood every day drops and drop now every day even if you lose one drop in a period of time it makes a huge quantity and your hemoglobin may come down so you may feel uh, 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 tiredness unusual tiredness unexplained tiredness will be there and most of the people when the bleeding is or in the days goes on the bleeding will be instead of few drops it could be torrential bleed in that case your BP will drop even you may collapse it could be a simple piles but the bleeding is so much you can't even get up get up from the uh, toilet seat you will even will collapse or if it's a uh, early stage of cancer and if you delay it it becomes stage one two three four and we may not have any proper treatment after after some time so it's always two things I always tell my patients if you have a bleeding and you see a fresh bleeding or in a few drops or whatever it is don't panic don't fear always ask for help from your family friends and you go to see a doctor get yourself examined by a physician or a surgeon and they confirm and they tell you nothing to worry then they follow their instruction thank you